the most, man. Hi, everybody. Welcome to another episode of Fishkeeping Jamaica Rally here, back on the island. Okay, so after five weeks missing in action, well, not really missing in action, but just not being here um, for my fish, um, I'm back. And this video actually highlights uh, what occurred while I was away. Okay, first thing first, let's. This is my koi pond. I'm not coming to that as yet. I am going to switch to this pond. Now this pond is at least it was thicker than this. Thick, very thick with green water. Alright. Um it's becoming clear now because I've actually filled it up. I actually uh changed some of the water changed the water. Alright, and then now fill it up with fresh water and then now i'm going to be uh releasing the water again so it depends on how much time i actually do this the water will eventually get clear when i first arrived uh during the course of the week i could not see nothing in this pond, in this pond now i'm able to see about uh call it about one foot down so i just need to do that for the time being some persons might choose to uh, use chemical or to just change the entire container of water um, to be moving the fish and washing it out and all like that. But to me, that is really a difficult task because it's over about 200 small uh, convict cichlids in this. And I am not sure if there are any spawns, young spawn, um, young baby fish in it. So I just have to do it as oh, i'm doing it now and at the end when the water gets clear i can now select i can now select a different method to get whatever is on the bottom of the the pond All right so that is what i am doing okay presently as i say in jamaica frequency of power outage is like you know uh five out of five charges within a week all right so presently uh, i wake up this morning to the light actually not not there electricity is out all right probably it might be out for a few hours this is jamaica people this is a developing country so frequent electricity outage and water outage is actually a commonality all right so what i'm showing you is the sky right uh this one is the most affected by the sunlight within my yard when i say that i mean the in comparison to let's say uh this uh pond right this pond it is affected by sunlight but the thing is that it has this um gravel and sand filter on the top plus it has a cherry tree Plus it is slant, so therefore the percentage of sunlight hitting the water is minimal compared to the other. So uh, what I found is that this pond with, with several, uh, we have about four plecos, three plecos, three very large plecos, I mean like 16 inch, 17 inch plecos, and some live bearers, uh, some mollies and, and sore tails, this pond did not uh develop thick green water as this one um the green water in this pond is of such it's so great that i i couldn't i had to be scraping off thick very thick uh algae from the side as as the water actually releases from the the pond it is actually caving in and falling into the pond itself that is how bad it is uh the filter system was so clogged that water seemed to be overflowing so I, therefore i disconnected it from about thursday right so um i'm in like a cleanup mode for this pond itself All right i will give you a more update but i i'm trying not to make my videos long so I'll give you more updates on that in short order.
bye bye for now we are here for fish keep in the maker bye bye